What's up guys, Jaxel here, uh, back with another demo of upcoming changes to one of my add-ons. Uh, as you can see here, I'm talking about the Twitch subscribers add-on, which I first released over three years ago, so uh, it's coming up on its age. Um, well, I mean, this original version was released back when uh, Twitch's API was very underdeveloped. API has changed a lot since then. It's a lot better now, and because of that, I've been able to add a lot of new features. In addition to this, I released the uh, Discord integration add-on uh, last week, and that add-on was just programmed so much better than this Twitch add-on. So I'm actu I am actually rewrote the entire Twitch add-on yesterday. I pulled an all-nighter, and uh, oh, I haven't slept yet. But <laughs> I'm a little high on adrenaline right now. Anyways, let's get moving. All right. So we've got this new version. Uh, like I said, it's a complete rewrite. Uh, because of this, um, all the existing uh, links that your users have to Twitch on your forums will actually get purged. So you're actually going to have to start over with all your Twitch authorizations to your forum. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, Twitch API changes. They've just deprecated a whole bunch of their older APIs. And because of it, uh, things just have to get wiped out and start over. Uh, there's not really much I can do about it, and I apologize, but it's the way it's got to be done. Anyways, so this is the, the uh, let's see, the option screen you're going to see after you install the add-on. Pretty simple. Uh, it's really only has two pieces of important information, your client ID and client secret. If you've ever set up a uh, application before, you should know how to do this. Uh, to use this add-on, you must register a Twitch application. Let's click that link. And that'll bring you to the connections page on Twitch, which is your account and all the applications it's linked to. But at the bottom, you have the ability to create your own applications. Uh, specifically here, there's a button for register your application. Uh, let's uh, open that. You put your application name, which ideally should be the name of your website. Your redirect URI, which uh, you'll find right here. Uh, every website's going to have its own unique redirect URI, but generally it will be in this same exact spot. And then you're going to select the website integration, don't sign up for the mailing list, and then click uh, accept terms and then register. I'm not going to do that now because I already did this three years ago. Well, over three years ago, technically. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the uh, application I have set up previously. It will run.com, my redirect URI, website integration. And after doing that, I was submitted a client ID. Client ID is simple, it goes there. It's also submitted a client secret, which you get by clicking new secret. You take that and you put it there. Simple. You click save and you are done. That's it. Your website is instantly integrated with Twitch. People can uh, link their accounts. They can register through Twitch. That's it. So let's uh, show that. Twitch integration. Going to click associate with Twitch. Uh, I'm going to authorize Twitch to view my email address, view my paid subscriptions, get a list of all subscribers to my channel, check if a user is subscribed to these channels. Now these two bottom pieces are basically set up for this channel section down here. Uh, but it's there for a reason. Uh, I'm going to click Authorize. And once that in, I need to put in my password on uh, Zenforo. Click Associate. And that's it. Done. Twitch account integrated. Let's uh, log out. There we go. And now we're going to go to Login. And you're going to see, hey, there's a button over here to uh, log in with Twitch. So let's do that. I'm logged in through Twitch. Done. Logged in. Didn't have to type any passwords in. Yay. Awesome. But, you know, that's just basic OAuth, which is a new feature in version 1.2 of this application, which, is, uh, which I will be releasing soon. Uh, the original purpose of this add-on, though, was to uh, give subscribers of your channel a uh, special user groups. So, for instance, my channel is 8-Way Run, and I want to uh, 
basically anyone who is subscribed to my channel, Eight Way Run, I want to give them premium membership on my forum. You know, it's a nice perk. Hey, you uh, subscribe to my channel? Well, premium membership on the website as well. Awesome. You know, bonus points. And yeah, I don't think I could get any simpler than this. I typed in a channel name, I select a user group, and I click save. And that's it. Done. Oh, well, I got to log in first. Done. That's it. I didn't have to get any uh, tokens from this page. Well, I'm sorry. Didn't have to get any tokens from this page, which is how we had to do it before. I didn't have to get my uh, channel ID. That was fetched automatically. That's it. Done. And uh, if I disassociate and then reassociate. Okay, there we go. I don't have to uh, redo the uh, token here because there is no token. It's going to get a token at the end of every night when it does the cron job. It's going to just fetch it from the external authorization in the database and just always have the current up-to-date token for your account. It's simple. Now, uh, that's pretty much it. I can, of course, uh, add another channel. Man vs. Game, always a good uh, channel to add. And uh, I can say, hey, anyone who's subscribed to Man vs. Game, let's give them a different user group. Let's say, hey, I don't like anyone who subscribes to Man vs. Game, so you're a uh, probationary user. <laughs> no, I'm not really going to do that. But when I click Save here, I'm actually going to get an error, and this is by design. You can click Save. And it's going to say, Man vs. Game has not authorized their channel. And that's to be expected because uh, let me go here and associate. It'll say, get a list of all subscribers to your channel. Check if a user is subscribed to your channel. Since we didn't do this authorization step with the man vs. game channel, they're not authorized to, uh, well, we're not authorized to fetch information about their channel, which is why we got that error. Like I said, it is completely to be expected, but... It is much simpler. It couldn't get less complicated than this. Or I'm sorry, it couldn't, well, it could get more complicated than this. But it's simple. This is good stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it. And, uh, you know, this new version. Anyways, peace out, guys.